So like Kate mentioned, we are heading into terminal count and Falcon 9 is ready for that configuration. We also just heard the call out that the Falcon 9 tanks are pressurized for strong back retraction. The strong back is that white structure you see to the right of the vehicle right now. That's used not only to connect the vehicle's umbilicals, but also as a structural support system. The strong back is retracting. Up until it begins to retract, which we just heard the call out for here. That's the mechanism we use both to move the rocket out to the launch side and pull it into its vertical orientation ahead of launch. We now can, we'll keep, we keep an eye on those. it as it retracts slightly here on your screen. We'll be able to see those clamp arms begin to open. And there they are now. And then that strong back will retract a couple degrees away. It will retract even further upon ignition of the engines to clear the way for Falcon 9's ascent. As I mentioned before, RP-1 is completely loaded onto the vehicle. We're still loading liquid oxygen onto the first and second stage. And obviously some happy cheers as the crowd is growing outside of Mission Control Hawthorne, as you see there on your screen. It's always awesome to have uh, an astronaut launch, but especially one during the day. <laughs> Stage one lock float is complete. With that confirmation, we know that stage one is fully loaded. Team is thrilled to hear that news behind me. At liftoff stage one combined between that RP-1. Dragon is internal count and is on internal power. There is confirmation that Dragon is on internal power and headed into the final minutes of our countdown. As I was saying earlier at liftoff, Falcon 9 will be burning nearly 700 gallons of fuel per second. Great views there too of our crew inside Dragon, awaiting liftoff just over two minutes from now. We're now standing by for completion of locks load on the second stage. Just topping off. And there's that call out. And more cheers from our crowd here in at Hawthorne, California. Dragon is in auto idle. Confirmation there that Dragon is in auto idle. Wow, great view of 39A on your screen right there as we head toward launch. Gas closed up and started. Expect loud venting. Call out to our crew there that loud venting is expected. Falcon 9 is in startup. There's that confirmation. Dragon is in countdown. Confirmation that Falcon 9 is in startup and Dragon is in countdown, which means that the vehicles are now controlling the final seconds as we lead up to liftoff. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. And there's confirmation from our flight director. Go for launch. We are go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition, engine full power, and the stop. Go action three. Falcon 9 is 
further beyond, opening the door for more to follow. Godspeed AX3. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Of course, if you are just joining us, this is the launch of the Axiom 3 launch to the International Space Station. Those incredible views on your screen, and there's our first shot of the AX3 crew inside Dragon on Ascent. Now, in just a few seconds here, we should hear the call out that Falcon Not 9. Power and telemetry. Stage one throttle down. There's that call out that Falcon mm -hmm. 9's engines are throttling down to help us pass through the period of maximum dynamic pressure during ascent. Max Q. There's that call out for Max Q. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that Falcon 9 is going faster than the speed of sound. Now, at this point, we will begin to throttle Falcon 9's engines back up. Stage one throttle up. There is that call out for mission control as well, as our AX3 crew continues on their way to space. We're now T plus one minute and 32 seconds into flight. The next event we have is MVAC chill, similar to what- MVAC chill underway. There's that call telling us that, again, we're flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid Stage oxygen. Stage one Bravo. Copy one Bravo. That call there was one of the abort mode call outs that uh, the crew is calling out as they are uh, making their ascent on Falcon 9. Now, we're less than uh, 30 seconds or a few seconds away from four events that will happen in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, as it's there on the bottom of your screen, stage separation, ignition of the first stage engine, and the first stage's boost back burn. Stage one throttle down. That call telling us that the engines are beginning to thr throttle down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. SpaceX Dragon 2 Alpha. Some loud, loud cheers here as we can see that the first, one boost back startup. first and second stages have separated. A beautiful view there. The brighter light is the second stage under power of the MVAC engine. That first stage booster is now heading back toward the Florida coast. One thing I love about daylight launches is we're gonna get some amazing views. We should be able to see the Space Coast come back into view as the first stage gets closer and closer to uh, landing zone one. Note that that first stage is actually still coasting to its apogee. So it's uh, about, as you can see there on your screen, 114, 115 uh, kilometers above the Earth's surface. And it's gonna keep coasting for a little bit Beautiful view there on the right-hand side of your screen of that Stage MVAC one, engine. Back, shut down. All right, that boost back burn has concluded on the first stage. Everything looks nominal with the second stage uh, trajectory. Everything also looking Dragon, good. Dragon, SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Everything looking good on the first stage as well as we see those grid fins begin to deploy. SpaceX, Dragon, loud and clear. Now, the next two major events we're tracking for the first stage, which right now is on the left-hand side of your screen, is going to be the entry burn at about T plus six and a half minutes, where we'll light three of Falcon 9's first stage, engi stage engines, followed shortly thereafter by the landing burn at T plus seven minutes and 32 seconds, which will be a single engine burn to bring us back to landing zone one at Kennedy Space Center. Great view there of our crew on board and you can, of course, always keep an eye on their telemetry down in the bottom, bottom corner of your screen. At this point, we should be just about a minute and a half away from that entry burn Dragon, start. SpaceX trajectory nominal. Good call outs there that we continue on a nominal trajectory with Dragon. SpaceX Dragon, we come. And acknowledgement from the crew. 
These are incredible views on your screen right here. Again, the left-hand side of your screen is stage one, making its way back to Florida. And stage two, you see that MVAC engine burning, taking our AX3 crew to orbit.